What's up guys, it's Tyler Anderson from Tyler's Real Fishing and today I'll be showing you guys how to fish one of the lures that you guys will be receiving in your month's Lucky Tackle Box. Let's get started. So the lure that you guys will be getting in your Lucky Tackle Box for this month is the Main Minnow Square Bill by Throwback Lures. Now I've gotten to use this, this bait today and it has been an awesome square bill and I'm going to show you guys how to fish this thing effectively and catch some good fall fish starting with rigging. So a square bill of this size will usually dive about one and a half to two and a half feet depending on line size. And today I'm gonna to be fishing around a ton of wood and, and, and submerged reeds and stuff like that. And so you'll wanna be throwing a line somewhere between 12 and 17 pound fluorocarbon, probably 15. Now today I'm, I'm throwing 12 pound just because that's what I had spooled on my reel. And I'm sure you guys don't always have a whole bunch of reels to, uh, to switch line sizes. So 12 pound works great for a square bill. So most crankbaits don't come out of the package with great hooks. So I like to upgrade mine to, to Gamagatsu or Mustad EWG hooks. These hooks are awesome and they give you such a better hookup ratio on fish. So now that you have the line size and the hooks replaced, it's time to check out rod and reel. Now when you're fishing isolated targets like stick ups or docks with square bills, you want a shorter rod like seven foot, castaway seven foot crankbait rod. But today I wanted to cover a ton of water like you should in the fall. So I chose the Castaway Skeleton V2 710 crankbait rod. Now you might say, Tyler, 710 is a little long for uh, a 1.5 size square bill, but I can make super long casts with this thing. It's still a sensitive and still loads up great on those big fish. And for real, you want to have a, a pretty fast gear ratio, somewhere between, you know, 6, 3 to 1, all the way up to the, to the 8s, because in the fall you want to cover a lot of water because those fish are in a feeding mood. Now the reason why a square bill is an excellent lure to use in the early fall and, and really late fall is that it's a reaction bite. And so you can reel this thing just super fast, cranking it against the rocks and the brush. And the cool thing about the bill design is that it's a square. That's why it's called the square bill. And so it will deflect off of cover very easily. So when you're just winding it back in and it hits a stick, instead of it, you know, digging into it and getting stuck, it'll deflect right off. And usually that's when you get your bites. Got another one. Oh baby. Not, not as big as that first one, but still a beautiful fish. Man, just goes to show you that when these fish are ready to move back, they're gonna stack up around these points here. And even though it's not a giant, it still shows that these fish are feeding up on shad. Now this water clarity is a bit dingy today, and so that's why I picked the chartreuse color. Most of the time I'll pick a shad color, but this water, or the lake, the lake recently flooded, and so the water clarity went downhill quick. So hopefully the water clarity gets clear here again soon, but as for now, I'm gonna stick with the chartreuse color. Now that we have rigging all set up, it's time to talk about retrieval. So when retrieving a bait like a square bill, you want to reel the bait pretty fast. Like I said, bass are opportunistic. And so what that means is that when they see, you know, a shad or a crawfish or something come by them, most of the time they're going to eat it just because it's there. And so you want to make sure you present your bait in as many situations as possible in the early fall because fish really want to feed. So whenever you find a piece of structure, make sure you're reeling the bait super fast by it. And then as soon as you hit it, pause it for a second. And so that bait will be digging into the bottom, hit something and it'll deflect. And that fish that's following it will immediately hit it. And even if you're in open water, a lot of the times you want to just reel, stop. Give it a few jerks, stop. And you'll, oh yes, I hooked into one. Oh my God, this is, this is a good one. Like I said, you're in open water. You just want to give it, you just want to give it a few jerks and you will hook into some fish like this. See, I was not even near any structure. I just decided to give it a few jerks and that fish must have been following it just enough to want to eat it. Good fish on the square bill. So this fish, nice two and a half, three pounder, was sitting out there in open water. And it rarely happens that when you're giving instructions, you catch a fish, but it, it was so cool because I told you guys, if you're in open water in the fall, real, real, real fast, give it two twitches. And oftentimes that will elicit a strike from a fish that's closely following it, looking to see if it wants to bite it. Man, I love square bills in the summertime. And good thing you got one in your lucky tackle box. So now that we have rigging and retrieval down, it's time to find the prime location to throw square bills and catch lots of fish in the fall. So in the early fall, fish will start moving back into the mouths of these creek, po creek pockets here. And so you have to look for kind of brush and rocks that line the outside of the creek. So right now I'm fishing uh, around some old dead reeds that were submerged. So now they're, I mean, they were alive, but now they're dead. And I'm casting the scrubble right on the edge of them because I know these fish aren't quite ready to move into the creek yet, but they're sitting right on the edge feeding on their shad. Oh, oh man. I think I have a fish, guys. Do I have one? Yes, I do. I'm 
that main minnow by oh splash back lures and it's a nice one too oh my goodness oh whoa oh my tell me you got that got it <laughs> oh my goodness Part guys, of i was working this uh brush line right on the oh right on the outside of uh, a good point a good creek that fish will start to move back into and this guy just slammed that main minnow square bills are an excellent lure to use in the fall and man here's a good example of why Yes, let's go, baby. Look at that. You can tell he wanted this color because he got all the hooks in his mouth. Oh man, what a chunky, beautiful Texas fish. So as you guys can see, we are fishing this nice brush line here that leads right into the creek. The fish aren't quite many, ready to move back yet. And so they're sitting right on the edge, feeding up on shad, getting ready for winter time. I love it. Now one thing we got working for us today is a little bit of wind. Now if you know anything about bass, you know they like current most of the time because it just moves around the algae, which moves around the small fish, which moves the big fish in to feed on the small fish. And so we got a little bit of wind blowing onto this point here, which means it will position the fish right on any sort of point or edge you have. So that's why we have these edges of dead reeds here. Uh, that's exactly where I'm catching the fish because the wind is positioning them right in that perfect spot to be able to... Oh, yep. Oh, he came off, came off. And as I was saying, there's plenty of fish stacked up around these points because of the wind creating the current. Man, every single fish, guys, is hooked just like that with two hooks in the mouth. That shows that these fish want to feed and they love the color. I almost can't stress that enough. When fish are telling you what they're biting, keep throwing that. Now, if you're fishing a pond or a lake and the fish are barely getting it by, by one treble hook or you're throwing a soft plastic and they're you know barely nipping at it and not quite eating it, that means you're not throwing the right color. Another nice fish on the main minnow square bill. Love it. Let's get this fish a release. So again guys, wind positions fish. You want to see the points that are wind blown and especially like a, a creek channel that has, you know, two points on either side. A lot of times fish will stack up on the, uh, you know, around the edges of those and those are great places to throw the square bill. So as you guys saw in that video, the main minnow square bill by Throwback Lures is a great square bill that you guys will get in your lucky tackle box. So I hope you guys can put it to use and catch some good fish. Make sure you guys leave a like below and a subscribe and a subscribe to my channel and subscribe to the Lucky Tackle Box channel as well because they have some awesome instructionals on there. We'll see you guys next time.